we get a lot of a, a lot of people who are concerned that they may have mold growth in the home. Uh, they don't really have any reason other than maybe a smell or they see a small spot on a wall or something like that. And certainly you want to be make sure that you're you're taking care of your home properly. Um, Again, when whenever someone contacts us, we try to ask them several questions over the phone. If water's been associated, what does it look like? How long has the problem been persisting? Is it something that just happened? Um, we can usually guide people along the way. A lot of times we do get situations where we don't feel our help is even needed whatsoever. Um, and then of course, there's many situations where we come out, do an inspection and find out that there is quite extensive uh, mold growth or water damage in a home. Molds and mold spores are everywhere. Basically, they're everywhere in the household and workplace environment. They're very, very common. However, when spores and mold have a proper conditions, they begin to multiply rapidly. The floods that we've had in Colorado, common leaks in tubs, bathrooms, shower leaks, bathroom sink leaks and leaking of roof, basement water leaks provide water that feeds the mold. In fact, flooding is common. We don't need a ton of rain in Colorado Rockies to cause a flood. Poor soil drainage around the home or at windows can cause problems. And of course, water pipe leaks and valves continually leak. The first thing you want to look for is any source of water uh, for mold to be growing virtually any time in Colorado. It's associated with some sort of water damage. If people have noticed uh, grout in their bathroom that's starting to crack, water can infiltrate through that grout line and get into the drywall and into the studs behind it. Uh, so anytime you, you have any kind of water loss whatsoever, it's very important to, to take note of it so that it can be cleaned up appropriately before uh, microbial growth has a chance to get started or before any mold growth has a chance to get started. So water is often in these situations the culprit, whether it be a leaky roof, a leaky pipe, uh, someone overfilling a bathtub. Uh, so again, always, always concerned about the, the source of the water and, and how it got there and how long it's been there. Anytime that water is inside of a wall for more than three days, that's high likelihood that mold can start to grow within that time period and we want to make sure we get it dry and clean as soon as possible. There are some simple things you can do to prevent mold from occurring from water damage. For starters, when water spills or overflows in a place like a bathroom, soak it up and allow the area to dry out. Next, periodically inspect under your sinks and cabinets to make sure that you have no plumbing leaks and fix plumbing leaks quickly. Replace tub tile caulk on tubs and showers. Also make sure that the bath tile grout is in good repair. Bathroom water leaks are perfect breeding area for mold and walls. Check your basement after rainfall to verify that the windows are not leaking or seeping water. Also, check the sump pump to make sure it's operational and the well is not getting full or the basement drain is not blocked. A burst water pipe is common in Colorado. If possible, dry the area completely as quickly as possible. Make sure that your property is draining well. Never do anything to landscaping that would allow water to start draining or pooling near your home. Verify that the rain downspouts are draining away from your foundation and purchase a downspout extension to drain water away from your home if needed. When you see any other signs of water damage or discoloration of the walls, have it inspected. Early detection and drying out of the, where the water is or has accumulated is key to preventing mold. And lastly, most importantly, if you see any dark discoloration on any area in your home or business that doesn't look right, call a professional to have it tested. Yeah, this is uh, the kind of situation when you discover this, um, anytime someone's opening up a wall and they see something that they suspect to be mold growth, definitely not something that you want to tackle. Uh, there are a variety of moles out there that can be quite dangerous to the human body. Uh, so you always want to make sure that you have a professional come in, take a look at the problem, and assess what it is that's happening. We often encounter people who think they have mold and sometimes actually don't. And then we also have a lot of people who will begin a project. About halfway through it, they start to get concerned and they start to do some research to educate themselves. And then they discover that they've been working in a pretty, you know, terrible environment for some time. And of course, you don't want to expose yourself to that. And so it's something that the uh, average person Call a good remediation company, make sure they come in and make sure that there's not a problem that could affect uh, yourself or your family.